Hi, I'm Sarah Wheeler, Editor-in-Chief at Housing Wire, here with Rob Poulton, Executive at CoreLogic. I heard you've been working on something really interesting. Tell me a bit about it. Well, Sarah, I wonder how you found that out. But the truth is, we have been working on a innovative solution in the appraisal review space. We call it image analytics, and it allows us to identify aspects of the photography or the pictures that the appraiser takes and trap for conditions and fire warnings to our lenders in their review process. So tell me a little bit more about that. Why did you guys get into this space? We started studying how reviewers were spending their time. So a few years ago, we started seeing this inefficiency in the process, and we're always trying to drive down the time and touch. And there was a lot of stare and compare. And we started seeing the technology come out and saying, hey, if we can identify a skier on a hill, or is this person smiling, why can't we determine if there's solar panels on a home, which get trapped late in the process and may have a secondary lien that you're not aware of? Or the unfortunate scenario where the house looked really good at listing and you weren't expecting any issues at closing, but the appraiser has caught something that's damaged that needs to be resolved before you do so. And what we found out though is there were about 10 to 15 minutes per reviewer, per touch. So maybe you're touching it two or three times in the process that could be saved if we can address those issues. That sounds amazing. How did you develop the technology? So I wanted to buy it off the shelf and just get going. And after reviewing what was available in the marketplace, we found out that we had to build it ourselves. So the team got together and we looked at the assets that we have. And it turns out, unbeknownst to me, I know we have a ton of appraisal data, but it also turns out that we have a ton of real estate data. And we also have insurance data. And this allowed us to train our computer vision models on a massive data set, bringing into the fold our expertise in review and appraisals. We were able to really train our models to focus in on some key areas. And I would say the accuracy that we're seeing from those models has really shined through as to the hard work that the teams put through uh, this process to make that possible. Wow. So I can only imagine clients are very excited about this. How are, how are lenders using it? Great question. So originally there was this debate internally, you know, is this a separate process um, or should it be baked into the current workflow? Where we resided is it's baked right into your current review process today. So if you're using GAR, this is an additional set of findings that you can add on that help trap for image related problems. Uh, what that allows us to do is give you a finding, say for solar panels on the roof or damage, as I mentioned, or if there's a room or condition issue, you can trap for that just like you do other findings today. As a result, we found that the reviewers find it very intuitive. It's very easy to train on. And we've also got some really good feedback as AI has become a fun topic of late. The truth is that we're bringing that right into the day-to-day -day workflow of our clients and their teams, which I think is an exciting thing because you don't always see that in real estate, right? Like we were just talking about all this AI stuff this summer. We were quietly behind the scenes rolling this out and uh, that made it even easier and fun for folks to adopt. Fun and very efficient. Rob, thank you so much. And audience, you can check out the link below for more information.